The eye is an important and one of the most complex sense organs. It aids visualization of objects, light, color, and perception of depth. In today's video, we'll talk about the structure and the function of the various components of the eye. This diagram shows a cross section of the eye and is to allow us to observe internal structures of the eye. Let's start by familiarizing ourselves with the basic parts of the eye. So the first part we talk about is the conjunctiva. The iris. The aqueous humor. The pupil. The cornea. The lens. The vitreous humor. The sclera. The choroid. The retina. The fovea. And the optic nerve. So now that we've seen the basic components of the eye, let's proceed to their functions. The very first part we talk about is the sclera. It's the outermost layer of the eye consisting of tough muscular layers. It forms the white parts of the eye. The role of the sclera is to render protection to the eye. Note, a quick way to remember the function of the sclera is that it's an external structure. An external structure is that houses internal structures are mainly for protection. With that, you always remember the function of the sclera. Now, the front part of this whitish protective structure, sclera, is modified to transparent structure called the cornea. Look at it right here. Now, this cornea acts as a window by allowing light into the eye through a process known as refraction. The next structure we'll talk about is the iris. The iris is located beneath the cornea. The iris is the area of the eye that contains pigment, which actually gives the eye its color. So as you can see, we have different varieties of eye colors over here. And that is as a result of the iris. The iris has the ability to control the size of the pupil, thereby regulating the amount of light that enters the eye. The pupil is found right at the midpoint of the iris, over here like this. It isn't a structure, but it's simply an opening that allows light through to the lens of the eye. Taking a critical look at the eye, the pupil is a black portion found at the center of the iris. The lens of the eye is a biconvex structure that is held by fibers called suspension ligaments. They are located right here. So these are the suspension ligaments. These fibers called suspension ligaments are connected to muscular structures called ciliary muscles or bodies. These ciliary bodies or muscles controls the shape and focal lens of the lens, thereby enabling the lens to focus images properly on the retina. The retina, which is indicated by the red arrow, contains two sensitive cells called the cones and the rods. The cones are cells active during daytime or bright light. These cells enable the eye to distinguish between all colors. Rod cells 
are active during night time or dim light. These cells enable the eye to view during night time. The portion of the retina with highest concentration of cones is called the fovea. As a result, any image formed at this particular point of the eye is very detailed and clear. Since the eye is linked to the brain, all information from the eyes are coordinated via the optic nerve over here, right from the sensitive cells in the retina and transmitted to the brains. The spherical shape of the eye is as a result of certain fluids whose pressure helps to maintain the shape of the eyeball. These fluids are the aqueous humor and the vitreous humor, respectively. They are found in the eye and help to maintain the shape of the eye alongside causing intense refraction in the eye. The last structure we're going to talk about is the choroid. Now the choroid is the middle layer of the eye and in this diagram is indicated with a black color. So the black part of the eye is the choroid. The essence of this dark color of the choroid is to reduce total internal reflection in the eye. The choroid also contains blood vessels that supplies blood to the eye.